Welcome back to Chamber Exchange, the TV show in our second segment. And again, want to welcome back in 2024 Bank Hometown, which has been a longtime sponsor of the Chamber Exchange TV show. And also want to thank St. Vincent Hospital for supporting the show in 2024 as well. Two important employers uh, and a couple sectors that are really important to the region. And that does relate a little bit to the conversation we're going to have in a moment. And before we started the segment, uh, Carolyn Bartley commented, we go from luck, L-U-K, uh, .org, luck org, uh, to uh, Luxo Executive Rentals, which is both uh, Carolyn and Anthony Bartley's business. So welcome. Hi. Thank you. Thank you so much, Tim, for having us. Yeah, so I, I mentioned, you know, our sponsors, Bank Hometown Financial Services, which is a major employer collectively. We take various the banks and Hanover Insurance and financial services sector, but the biggest employer in the region is healthcare. Um, and we have, you know, know that there's a lot of people in the healthcare sector and people travel and work is increasingly mobile. Mm -hmm. uh, and so maybe you could talk a little bit about Luxo Executive Rentals and, and your business. Thank you so much, Tim. So we offer fully furnished, fully equipped, move-in ready uh, rentals in the area. We have seven rentals in the city of Worcester. Um, we mainly are marketed towards people who are traveling to the area for various reasons. Uh, some, we have healthcare workers stay at our place as well. Our first uh, couple guests that we ever hosted were two healthcare workers that came here for the pandemic. Mm -hmm. So to the tie back to what you just mentioned about uh, people uh, coming for healthcare uh, right. purposes. Um, we offer safe spaces. Most of our places are two to three bedrooms. As I mentioned before, fully furnished, have full kitchens. Uh, on-site parking. They're in beautiful neighborhoods throughout Worcester. Um, so we offer an elevated experience for people who are traveling to the area and we hope to really support local businesses for having um, workers come to the area as well. Yeah. So, so Anthony, you kind of set that up. So, so you know, people may come for a day or two and we're mm -hmm. lucky to have some great hotels here uh, in, the, in the region, but you know, sometimes people for longer stays or because of family uh, units and uh, pets and things, whatever it is, sometimes people are looking for other options. And it sounds like, Carolyn, what you've created is, is some of these options and, and filling a void. Absolutely. Yeah. And it, it did stem from our personal experience that we had okay. um, when we were displaced from our home um, and living in a hotel room. Yeah. Um, so there's a personal aspect to it here, yeah. and we really understood the need in the market for other options. So it's a hotel alternative um, for people visiting in groups or staying longer than a few days. Mm -hmm. um, and what that offers is for people to come and stay under one roof. So you can have multiple bedrooms, um, multiple people come, possibly multiple ge family generations, mm -hmm. um, and all gather together um, to be able to have dinner together, to cook meals together. Um, for example, many of our guests are people who come to the area to visit their children at local colleges. Higher ed, our, our second biggest it, sector of the economy exactly. here after healthcare. Yeah. And with the institutions that we have here for the colleges, they're, they're global. I mean, there's people coming over from all over the country. We have right. guests coming from all over the world visiting their college students. Um, and they want to have them stay with them and um, really pr get them out of the dorms for a few days, give them a place to call home, um, cook, them, um, cook them their favorite meal. Sometimes the students can't get home for break if they play college sports mm -hmm. or something. So uh, we have people who can come and they, can, they stay with, at, at our places and we provide that experience for them and a, a home away from home. Right, right. And you know, this is when you think about just kind of time, I mean, this is kind of a fairly new, uh, I guess, part of the hospitality or, or, or uh, home or, or, you know, uh, temporary residence kind of uh, sector, if you will. I mean, 10 years ago, people didn't hear of this, but with technology and needs and mobility, this has become a, a huge uh, demand or a need. And so you started this in, in January of 22, you know, and, and, and acquired and, and have uh, developed to, to the seven units. I mean, what have you seen and just how has it changed? And, and what kind of prompted you to, to get into this uh, yeah. space? Well, um, started in, in January 2021. 2021, 20, okay, uh, three. Sorry, 
sorry, 2022. Yeah, 20, yeah. Okay. So, so a we, years, well, yeah, a couple years ago. Plus. So during the well, it's during the pandemic that we really thought of the idea. Yeah. Because um, we understood, you know, the people coming to the area, um, and really the with the workforce shortages. Mm -hmm. Um, temporary employees are, it's also a competitive market. Right. So we wanted people to come to Worcester and to have that experience where they either wanted to come back or extend their, their stay. Mm -hmm. um, and we've seen that people have continued to come for temporary work, uh, but also people who are displaced from their home due to fire right. or flood um, and really need a, a comfortable, safe place to stay while they rebuild their home. Uh, so those are other reasons why people stay in, in Luxo properties. Right. And so uh, obviously, you know, you've built to, to seven units. Uh, Anthony, if you, know, you start out with a few, you wouldn't be expanding and growing unless people were taking advantage of what you have to offer. Yes, and there's an incredible demand for the type of furnished rentals that we offer. Um, and we've had uh, people come from all over the world, as Carolyn had mentioned. Um, one of our first uh, uh, guests, or it was actually a professor coming to one of our local institutions from Ireland. Mm -hmm. We've had guests from West Africa, China, mm -hmm. uh, various countries throughout Europe, South America, Dominican Republic, Jamaica, all over people are coming to Worcester. Um, we have uh, the DCU Center, which brings in a lot of guests to this area. Right. There's events every week. Um, we have people that come for our local institutions. As you had mentioned before, we have mm -hmm. many local institutions. Um, including uh, WPI, Anna Maria, um, Holy Cross, Worcester State, um, uh, Assumption as right. well. Um, so people are oftentimes visiting for uh, parents visiting weekends, MCPHS moving weekends. MCPHS University, they draw nationally uh, as well, yeah, yeah. All of them, Clark, we get, yeah, we go down the list, right? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yes. Um, and, and there's also graduations uh, as well. Um, Carolyn had mentioned that uh, we are um, really well uh, positioned to uh, take care of larger groups and families. So oftentimes multiple generations will come to watch their mm -hmm. uh, child, uh, grandchild uh, graduate from one of the local institutions. Mm -hmm. So we can oftentimes accommodate them. Um, we have people that come here for medical travel. Uh, sometimes uh, people will come to have procedures at local right. Um, right. medical uh, facilities, and we would like to be able to accommodate them and their families as well. Right. And, and in terms of just, you know, at the chamber, we try to use three words to organize our work, recruit, retain, incubate. But, you know, having this type of amenity, having this type of offering helps, you know, colleges and universities. It helps the, the, college, uh, the, the, the hospitals and, and mm -hmm. other sectors where, you know, people come in for, for training, for sales, for, for, for you know, uh, family uh, events and gatherings, uh, kind of makes the region, you know, more competitive. That's right, absolutely. And, and our goal moving forward is we'd really like to partner with local businesses um, and be a resource to the companies here at Worcester as they continue, the Worcester community and business community continues to grow and recruit more employees to the area. Um, we'd like to be a resource to be able to provide relocation housing mm -hmm. um, and temporary housing, whether it be for contract workers or um, people who have moved to the area, have been recruited to the area and haven't found a house yet or haven't closed on a house yet. Yep. Um, so they can really True. get started at work, you know, not have to worry about right, where right, they're going to be living right. and, and where um, they're going to be uh, staying and they can they can get right. to work while they stay at one of our properties and, and look for a permanent house here. And I've had a chance to, to, to visit a couple of the, your your units at, at one particular property and a, a magnificent historic kind of re renovation. Um, but if people want to learn more, I, uh, they want to, you know, Lexo Executive Rentals, maybe see the units, pictures, website. How do they, how do we get people to, to, to learn about what you have to offer? Well, first you can go by visiting our website, luxoexecutiverentals.com, L-U-X-O, Executive Rentals, all one word. Um, we're also available on some of the major online booking platforms. You might be familiar with Airbnb and VRBO. Mm -hmm. um, we're also available there. Um, those are the two best ways to get in, uh, to, to check for our availability. Okay, so we've got the website, Luxo Executive Rentals. Executive Rentals dot com. com. Dot com. Yep. And then you mentioned also uh, Airbnb and VRBO. Yep. And, and reach out directly. I had love to have a conversation with anyone who's interested in partnering with us, anyone who's 
knows people coming to the area or is coming to the area for work or for tourism. Right, right. Um, just, I'd love to hear what's bringing people to the area, what they need as far as housing, whether it be for one night, two nights, three weeks, a whole year. Right, right. We can just have that conversation, see how many people are traveling, um, and uh, find a geography. Within, within Worcester, where we have a property right. that would meet their needs. Right. Yeah, you mentioned a lot of sectors, contract workers, people coming in for periods of time to do project-based work. Uh, so a gr great offering. Uh, Anthony, Carolyn, thank you for, for being with us. Since 1889, Bank Hometown has stepped up to bat for our neighbors. In the past five years, we've donated $1.3 million to local organizations that help enrich lives and bring people together. And we're not stopping there. We're always looking to tackle the challenges of today and fuel the leaders of tomorrow. No matter how life changes over the years, we'll continue to show up for our neighbors, for our communities, and for you. Bank Hometown. Unlock your potential.